Sofia Coppola doesn't get respect for her Marie Antoinette book, or movie rather, if, if Sofia Coppola can't get respect for her Marie Antoinette movie because she based it on a shitty author, it's her own damn fault. This is the reference that everybody talks about when they talk about, you know, reference books that matter about Marie Antoinette. Second thing, I just want to point out that there's a woman named Shayla Harris who I crossed paths with several years ago when I worked on a film from the production company based in New York. Very briefly, it was on NBC News. It was a documentary that had been purchased at Sundance by NBC News to be broadcast during a weeknight show of documentaries and it was a big coup for the network and it was a big coup for the independent filmmakers who made the film. Shayla Harris was on the NBC side of things, I was on the independent producer side of things, and I was a liaison between the independent producer, the editor, and the network. Why I bring up Shayla Harris is she's gone on to direct a whole series of, um, a whole mini series on the black church with an esteemed Harvard professor named Henry Louis Gates. He's like the head of Africana studies at Harvard University. Shayla Harris really bashed my ex, Gabe Mons, when asked about whether or not she would ever date a Chinese guy. She's just like, ugh, how can she date a Chinese guy? That's so disgusting. I would only date Vincent Gallo, the white supremacist actor that I love so much. Yeah, that Shayla Harris was like, ugh, how could I date a Chinese guy? I know, she was bashing me for dating Gabe Mons, who's half Chinese, like, <laughs> and she's all crazy about Vincent Gallo, that asshole white supremacist actor, and she can't get a date to save her life, but yet she's bashing on me for having a meaningful relationship with Gabe Mons, also known as Kirsten Johnson's obsession for the past 20 years. Just want to get that cleared up. Speaking of Gabe Mons, when I was in Asia, as we've already established, I spent some time in Asia. I spent 13 months in South Korea teaching English to children and adults. I'd also traveled to Japan prior to that, but during my time in South Korea, I also traveled to China. And I came across this book called Serve the People by Jen Lin Lu. An amazing book, a really interesting read. And you know what I did also? Well, let me first tell you about this book. So this book, is part cookbook, part memoir of a Columbia journalism student who gets a Fulbright to China to explore cooking and food in China. Her parents are Taiwanese, so she speaks Mandarin pretty fluently, and she decides to be a food critic, a pretty bombshell food critic in Beijing, which is kind of unheard of. Nobody does legit food criticism in Beijing. It's all kind of like payola and shit. So she has the bright idea working for Time Out Beijing to actually tell the truth about what some of these restaurants are like. And it's this whole big scandal. Oh my God, how could they do this? Because they never actually tell you, they only give praiseworthy criti cri criticism of restaurants. You know, they had only given praiseworthy criticism of restaurants up until she came along. So with that kind of credibility, she decides that she wants to enroll in an authentic proletariat cooking school. And she does just that, and she talks about her journey in this book called Serve the People, A Stir-Fried Journey Through China. And it's really great because it has some really nice narrative elements about her actual experience working and studying in like authentic proletariat cook rooms and, 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 and you know, cooking schools, you know, people who do authentic Chinese cuisine from all different regions she learns the ropes from the source and she shares some of the best recipes alongside her narrative. It's a really great read. And you know what else I did? When I went to Beijing, I thought of Gabe Mons, even though his parents, I think are from Hong Kong, but I think everybody, you know, originally is like Han Chinese. So all back from the mothership in some way, shape or form. Anyway, I thought about him because I went to Beijing and I took a class with Jen Lin Lu at Black Sesame Kitchen. She has a really great little cooking school that's based on a lot of the recipes that she introduces in this book. 
in the really lovely little time in like, you know, really cute, trendy district of Beijing, where a lot of expats seem to hang out. She has a great little cooking school. I took a class there. It was really nice. I made braised pork belly, which I think is Mao's favorite dish. I made some candied apples, which is a rare kind of a dessert that um, a lot of people in China enjoy. And I was actually gonna make some today because I do have some apple chopped up. I have the batter, I have the sugar, I have the wok. I was gonna make some candied apples as described on page 40 something in this book. There's a recipe for candied apples. That's what I was gonna make tonight. And so when I got this book, I thought long and hard about the relationship I had with Gabe Montz, the Chinese boyfriend I had that Kirsten Johnson hates me for having a relationship with. Just saying. 